We should invite again the former president to be present in the next hearing. In the next hearing. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll serve you. I'll serve you. Then we will have a motion. Success and statement. Handshaking. Tango. Diba? Kita nyo? Hello mga kabibig, welcome back sa aning bawang YouTube channel to ang pinakamaingay nga YouTuber sa balat ng YouTube Ako si kabibig, maglabag-labag at ang wad evidence so, nung nagkagulo ang quad com ngayon May ibang na high blood na kasi hindi tumating si Pangulong Duterte mga kabibig They're expecting sana na darating si Pangulong Duterte pero hindi kaya na high blood sila Si Paduano, sa Mr. Contempt, Idan Fernandez, si Adyong. Nako, na-expatch, expatch pa sila. Kasi unfair daw. <coughs> Tapos, hindi na na makuha daw ang laman ng ano, ng sina, sinit hearing. Ano si Duterte? Kasi sabi ni pa Panelo na joke lang. Ay, nako, ito, ito, kapi pagmanood tayo. Ha? Watch this video. We will address that uh, concern uh, later when we... Uh... When the committee deliberates on the the contents of the letter sent to us by Attorney Delgra, yes, Congressman Flores, you are recognized. Mr. Chair, Attorney Delgra is just being the lawyer, Mr. Chair. He's just, I think, stating the reasons given to him by his client, the former president. So if we insist that he be present, Mr. Chair, I don't think he will be the best person to answer the questions that we may have. It should be the former president himself. But I do not agree with the reasons he stated in his letter, Mr. Chair, but I don't think he's the proper person to ask. Correct. Mr. Chair. He's just the representative of the former president. And you know, uh, Mr. So Chair, Mr. We, Chair. We, have a, we have a situation here now. Uh, Congressman Adyong uh, asking for clarifications as to how can he address the former president uh, intelligent questions that needs answers uh, directly from the former president while uh, Congressman uh, Keith Flores is stating, just stating that uh, uh, Attorney Delgra cannot answer these queries that will be propounded by the members. So, Mr. Chair, may I respond to that? Just a chair. Very short, Mr. Chair. Short, very, 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 very okay. brief, Mr. Chair. Uh, very, very brief. 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 Just make it short. Ang gulo, gulo nila. Mr. Chair. Grabe gulo. I understand, Mr. Chair. My good friend here, Congressman Keith Flores. But number one, Attorney Delcar was chosen by President. So he confidently have trust on Attorney Delcar to at least respond on his behalf questions. Number two, the, um, the position of this representation simply owes them, or is on the matters of the content of the letter. I will not be asking Attorney Delgra on how the, how, how the previous administration implemented the, the war on drugs. I understand that he is not capable and he is not uh, competent to answer these questions. I would simply wanted to ask since his signature is affixed in his letter, I would simply wouldn't want to ask how, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure they have discussed this over with his client. So I just want to elucidate to us, how did his client, the former president, arrive into this kind of conclusion? Because the, the what appears to me, Mr. Chair, and what I do not simply uh, cannot afford to understand, is that the House of Representatives, being part of a two bicamerals chamber of House uh, of the Congress, the Senate on one hand, and, the, and then the House on the other hand, that a certain individual can simply select which um, which institution office he would like to go to. Now, to me, he had he the former president had displayed a very active, very active participation. Uh, uh, during the Senate investigation, and how come he cannot afford that? This, the respect that we have accorded to him because he was a former president, and I do not at least expect him to give us praises, you know, to even uh, at the very least compliment the works of this Quad Committee. But I did not expect that he would assail the integrity of the Quad Committee. 
and, and, and even attack integrity and the impartiality of some of the members here, Mr. Chair. So those are the questions I would like to ask to Mr. Attorney Delgra. And some of the members here, Mr. Chair, entered their appearances here. So I, do we also extend the same courtesy to Attorney Delgra? Uh, I absolutely agree with you, Congressman Adjong, that we will have to require the counsel of the former president to enter his appearance before this committee. Unfortunately, when we received that letter the other day, uh, we tried to reach him and ask for his presence for today so that uh, maybe he can uh, point out some uh, uh, or maybe answer some uh, clarifications we may uh, uh, we may ask uh, point the, order, the, the, the lawyer uh, Mr. so if i may um point okay uh, what is the point of order congressman Jacob? there was a motion a while ago for uh, attorney Jedgrad to be to be issued the show cause order but uh, pursuant to our records, we haven't invited him. In accordance with our protocol, uh, uh, an invitation is supposed to be made first. And if he does not appear, a show cause order will be issued by the committees. So uh, I think we should issue first a, an invitation to Attorney Debra for him to appear uh, and show to us young service engagement agreement that uh, Attorney Degra has with the president, former president, simply because it would be consistent with our protocols. In the case of uh, Michael Young, uh, Attorney Raymond Fortune was asked to produce yung agreement po nila, uh, Mr. Michael Young, at saka si Attorney Fortune. So Mr. Chair, to be consistent with our protocols, uh, I move that uh, we, we issue an invitation to Attorney Delgra rather than uh, issuing a show cause order. So move, Mr. Chair. There is a motion to Mr. invite Mr. Attorney Delgra. Before we roll with the indulgence of, uh, of uh, Congressman Akop, because there was a motion that the chair and the committee would, was about to rule. Now, because of that, there are interjections. And because there are interjections from the co-chairs, we would like to entertain first before we rule. Now, in this case, Congressman Paduano, and then Congressman uh, Dan Fernandez, and then Congressman Ace Barbers. Okay, is that uh, fair? Yes, fair. Congressman Paduano. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Can you talk about Mr. Chairman? Why I moved to issue a cause, but I don't have any debate with regards to the uh, possible uh, amendments to my motion of with regards to uh, uh, show cause order for Attorney Dirga. But remember, remember, Mr. Chairman, that uh, we have already sent two invitations. This is the second hearing that we invited the former president, and the first invitation was answered by Attorney Delga. Now, put on behalf of the President, in the absence of uh, that authority being requested by this committee to this representation during the last hearing. Now, Mr. Chairman, looking at the answer, looking at the reply of Attorney Del Delga on the first hearing, well, Mr. Chairman, we look at it Why? Why? Because the first reply made by Attorney Delgra representing the former president is that the excuse is that the president, the former president, needs much rest. And assured this committee, assured this committee that he will be present in the next hearing. At the same time, he has a specific date, Mr. Chairman, given to this committee through this letter after November 1, and let me read, Mr. Chairman, allow me to read in total the portion of such reply coming from uh, Attorney Delga. Hence, my client respectfully requests to defer his appearance before the Honorable Committee scheduled tomorrow. Rest assured of my client's willingness to appear before the House of Representatives on some other available day, preferably after November 1, 2024. And for the record, Mr. Chairman, the invitation that was sent 
to the former president and was answered by Tordi Derga was before the presence of the former president in the city. And he has promised us, this committee, through his letter, that after November 1, he will be present in today's hearing. Ano to? Naglulukuan tayo dito? Well, in fact, I will not discuss and argue with our colleague, uh, Congressman Keith Flores, with regards to the content of this second letter. But, malinaw po, Mr. Chairman, na naglulukuan tayo dito. Naglulukuan tayo dito because the first letter promised us that he will be present after November 1. Kung hindi tayo naglulukuan dito, eh ano, natatakot siya? Napupunta dito? That's why, Mr. Chairman, that's why my first motion was to issue a so-called order for attorney Delga to answer both letters. And, Mr. Chairman, and I would like to reiterate once again that we should invite again the former president to be present in the next hearing. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Congressman Pasigano. Uh, Mr. Chairman. As I promised, Congressman Fernandez, yes. and then we will uh, rule on the motion. Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Congressman Mr. Chairman, the, uh, there are three reasons Ay, that are by uh, Attorney uh, Delgra in a... Uh, uh, consultation with the former president para hindi po siya umaten ng ating pong hearing. First, binanggit po niya yung pangalan ko at binanggit niya yung pangalan ni uh, Chairman Abante uh, that uh, naging uh, nagprejudge na po kami doon sa mga binanggit niya po doon sa Senado and citing uh, some provision of Republic Act 1951 particularly Section 6 on the willful uh, killing. And uh, with this, Mr. Chairman, uh, we are being accused that na nabahidan ng uh, prejudgment yung mga issue that he mentioned. With that, Mr. Chairman, para lang po uh, mawala na tong issue to. Again, again, Mr. Chairman, I'm willing, this representation is willing to inhibit myself in asking questions with regards to this willful killing. And I hope that uh, my co-chair here, Chairman Abante, will do the same in relation to the first issue that the former president with consultation of his lawyer uh, cited in this letter. Secondly, that's the reason why we asked the presence of uh, Colonel Grijaldo to be here. Because he accused us of coercion and harassment and threats. And that's the reason why we are questioning no, yung mga medical certificate that he submitted to this Congress. We wanted that the integrity of this Quadcom will be cleared eventually. And with that, Mr. Chairman, eradicating the coercion and harassment and the threats that he accused us, then the reason for the president not to attend on this Quadcom will be eliminated. Thirdly, Mr. Chairman, the only last reason that he mentioned in this letter is all the questions were already answered in the Senate. And that is not true because we have a lot of 20,000 questions that we wanted to ask him. And with this, Mr. Chairman, yung pong reason niya for not to be here is not acceptable. So, Mr. Chairman, I believe that my position no, uh, in uh, trying to inhibit ourselves uh, in this investigation pertaining to the number, e number one issue that he mentioned, and also with the issue of Colonel Grijaldo, uh, we will comply uh, with the mandate of this um, Quadcom <coughs> to inhibit ourselves and be a part of the resource persons that will be questioned by the members of this Quadcom. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Congressman Dan Fernandez. Now, Congressman Ace Barbers. Uh, there was a motion earlier that uh, the committee invite uh, Attorney Mr. Chairman, Delgra. you are recognized. Thank you. <laughs> that Attorney Delgra, being the, the counsel uh, of uh, the former president, be invited in the next uh, uh, hearing. And uh, we direct the committee secretariat uh, to take note of that and uh, send the invite in the next uh, Quadcom hearing to Attorney Delgra. Any second? Julie seconded. Any objections? I object, Mr. Chair. May I know what is the objection of uh, Congress? We'll get nothing from him, Mr. Chair. He, all he's just going to say is that that is what my client said. So that's the end of it, Mr. Chair. 
One minute suspension. So yun na kabibig ang ating ladies lebak-lebak for the ng bahala. Ang gulo ng ano no, quadcom. So I think may pinaglalaban naman sila. And I think gusto nila malaman ang katotohanan. So sana hindi ito nasakya ng politika at sana para sa katotohanan lang talaga at kung ano ang pwede lang maitulong para sa ating bansa, para sa mga tao na gihikaos, gutom, at ang ekonomiya natin na ewan ko babangon ba muli. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Comment below kung ano ang iyong komento sa napanood yung video. Bye everyone. See you next time.